All right, guys, I spent the last four days in a row out at the airport working on my jet and I'm just about done. I could not be any more excited. I'm just waiting on one teeny tiny little part to get here. It'll be here in 48 hours. And then this thing is done, ready to be back in the air and bringing you guys awesome content. So if you can't tell, I'm super excited. So let's just get to the airport. Um, oh, Project Piper Arrow. It is about to be up for sale. So full details on that coming later on this video. So I don't know, watch to the end. All right, let's go to the airport. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's just take a quick moment to look at my Integra Type R real quick. Just brought this sucker over from Japan back in December. I love this car. Right hand drive, all the goodies. Fresh out of the paint shop because I wanted it looking perfect and look at her shine. I just gotta get these wheels powder coated. All right, sorry, I'm too excited. Let's get back to the airport. All right, guys, so this is it. My jet cockpit is completely done. This has been 18 months in the making trying to get all this done, but check it out. Let's power up. Inverters, avionics. Watch it all come to life. Everybody is happy. Everybody is working. Even the ancient radar is still in it working. Life is so good. So, let's talk about... Let's talk about what all actually needs to be done. This is the only little stickler I have. This actually works, but for one, some reason that little bulb is... Plugged. Look at this little HSI doing its thing, just spinning around, getting all situated and stuff. Okay. Now let's talk about what we need. Oh, let's see. Let's look at where we're at in here. All right. Interior is still out. Refreshment center here is still out. But the reason for that is I needed these guys out. This guy here. And this guy here behind me. Now I needed those out. This last wire, I got a trick, get rid of this. But the big failure that all I'm waiting for, today's Saturday, the part comes in on Monday, is this guy right here. And this is essentially a DC to DC converter. And this is what gives all the USB power plugs in the back of the plane their power. That thing failed and it lives right here. It lives right in that spot this screw and that screw hold that sucker in and once i put the new one in i can put these two panels right here back this one for this side that one for the other side and then the cockpit seats can go in with the cockpit seats you guys can see it's super tight there's nothing in here right now i just have a little stool otherwise if the seats were in there there's absolutely no way to get into any of those panels or to get into anything else under here. So once that piece gets in, it's just like a little puzzle. Once that piece gets in there, we are good to go. These panels go in, cockpit, pilot, co-pilot seat goes in, the refreshment center right here goes in, the divider, and then the rest of the seats. And then we're done. We are done. It's been like 16 months. I've been working on this thing. The plane is absolutely freaking filthy, so I'm getting it detailed on Monday. So all I needed was a couple days break. I've been out here basically four days in a row just hammering on this thing to get it done. And we did. Got the Aluma, Aluma Lumen, Electroluminescence strips up under the panel. That was a pain in the ass. Those guys are wired to this nifty little knob right here just to add in the cockpit lighting and that was a pain in the ass so I had to run all the wires up through here through the back down through there behind the panel underneath the pilot seat in here up into the circuit breaker and into the electroluminescence panel circuit breaker and 
basically after doing all of that, got in, tested them, they work. Watch this, let's just turn them on for fun. Cause why not? Cause we're here, we got an airplane and it works. Look at those suckers go. Look at how cool that is. And they're on a full dimmer. Dimmer's over here. So I'm super pumped on that. And yeah, I'm just excited. We got my jet back, let's do a quick little tour. We'll slide back here at the back. All those brand new windows, look at how, even though they're filthy, look how clear they are. And this is what we were talking about when I was doing that. That's just a little residue from the protective film that came on them. But guys, the jet is done. Look at the carpet, carpet is awesome. We got new speakers installed down here, hit with the Sony's, I still gotta screw those in. Um, all the speaker wire is right there. That'll have to be trimmed down and then put into the panel. Um, yeah. Got all the really cool stuff going on with the Citation. I mean, honestly, um, Wheelin was super nice. They sent me some custom lights for this thing. So uh, we gotta get to putting those in. We're gonna do the wingtips up there on the top of the tail. We're gonna do that recognition light. We have, try that antenna's filthy, it's been sitting out here. We have this recognition light we're gonna do right there on the belly. That guy has to be done. We are going to change the rear bulbs. Sorry, look how disgusting this thing is. It's so dirty. I feel bad, this paint's like barely a year and a half old. And it just looks like hell right now. We're gonna replace this guy. Unfortunately, there's no replacements for these lines, for these lights here. No replacements. And although the landing lights are not that old, I'm gonna be replacing those as well. So, oh, here's a good, better view of uh, that guy. Wheelan custom made those for me, so I'm super stoked. Baggage compartment, it's all full of stuff right now, but let's take a look in here. So we reupholstered in here as well. All the grays, everything to match. The only thing I wish I would have done is I wish we would have uh, painted in here. That's not corrosion, it's just scraped flaked off paint the only thing i wish we would have did in here um i wish we would have painted all black in here because that would have been cool like see we got the black dark colored fabric down there and so i wish and the same with the surrounds so all this area here i wish we would have blacked all that out but so be it all right Next projects on this plane, which, you know, I could never stop doing anything uh, to my stuff because I can't leave anything alone. I am going to have the boots replaced. Not because they need it, but they're just old. And the conductive paint or whatever this stuff's called up here, I don't like the way it looks. So we're going to redo the boots. They could definitely use it. So I'm stoked on that. Got to get Brett out to polish the bright work up. We got to clean that up. Bruce's custom covers, because my covers faded so much, uh, Uncle Bruce actually said he's going to send me out a new set, which is pretty cool. And I think what I want to do, instead of just the cockpit cover up there, I want to do the full fuselage cover that goes all the way back to the engine nacelles. Let's pop one of these covers off, take a look inside the engine. Let's just see what we got in here. Nice, easy Saturday video though, boys. Let's see. Everything's still looking good in there? I can't see around that corner, so I'm gonna walk back around to the front. I'm so excited. Tell me in the comments how you would have done this project and get got done way faster than me. Oh yeah, look at her. She is looking great. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. I'm ready to fly. Now, I do have another freaking problem with this plane. I'm not current to fly it. 
So maybe I can get Owen or somebody else out here to come fly me around. Let's look at the look at the paint where it was covered and not covered. Not covered, covered. Not covered, covered. Like straight, see straight down that line right there. Wow, terrible. This girl's gonna get washed up though. Let's look in the back. Hello. And she's looking great. Very, very ready to start taking me on some adventures again. What's going on here? Okay. We gotta make sure this is all covered up correctly. So that is my citation. Let's go inside. You guys want to see in the hell hole? It's the hell hole. I swear. All of the nonsense happens. I got to disconnect the battery here. All right, battery's off. That there's the air cycle machine. That's the only thing I've had to replace back here. There's my battery reminder. I have a spare nose wheel in here. It's the air conditioning, the Keith air conditioning system up there. And all the other doodads and wham jammers. Oh, I have to replace this ELT battery because that ELT expired while we've been down doing all this wonderful maintenance and upgrades. So I actually have the battery already at my hangar and that guy's ready to go in. That's a little light switch for the light back here. A lot of citations, the lights in here don't work, but mine do, thankfully. Yeah, I'm so excited. And, oh, we gotta paint these too. When they painted my plane, they must have accidentally sanded these and not painted them, so they're starting to look ugly. Um, those of you guys with citations or not, this is a very important plug here. These are the dorsal fin plugs, which luckily Bruce's custom covers makes them. But when it rains and you park your jet outside, all the rain goes in these dorsals, this here, all the rain goes in there and it basically pools in the back of the hell hole there and that can corrode the absolute hell out of your plane. So um, pretty cheap, but they're just as important as pedo, uh, pedo covers in my opinion. So, but yeah, definitely do that if you have one. I'm so stoked. Let's close the door. Let's get out of here. Did I leave any trash or anything I need today? No. Nice and easy. Bingo. That's my jet. Guys. It is all done. Okay, so I had a lot of you guys mention these in other videos um, about the cracks. This is very common on citations. It's just what they do. This is made out of fiberglass up here, this radome cover, and it expands and contracts as you go up to and down from altitude. So we'll come over here. You can see this one's got a couple I don't know if you guys see those there, up there. Paul's plane definitely has a couple. You can get them touched up. You can get them touched up and like filled, but they inevitably just will do it again. Paul's looks good. He just had his touched up not that long ago. So I'll probably be taking mine in for a quick little touch up at some point here in the future because yeah, Paul's actually looks good. For a while there, his was, his was getting a lot of them. Let's check this guy out. 86 Papa Charlie. Let's see how this radome looks. It's always interesting. Oh yeah. No, his is good too. Look at that. Nothing. So I know pretty cool. I am pretty excited right now. I think um by next Saturday, old girl's gonna be ready. 
I got to do a bunch of servicing and a couple of other inspections. So I have basically, um, with the interior and everything, this has all been one big giant egg inspection since we had everything completely out of the plane. And you know, I've done I've done so much stuff. So this is basically, this has basically been like a one through five, which is crazy. But um, yeah, it's been pretty good. All right, let's head to the hangar. Okay, can we all take a moment to take a look at my dream helicopter? Let's go take a look at this chopper real quick because this is my dream. And unfortunately, my insurance agent said there's absolutely no way I could buy one of these. This thing is so awesome. Hundred percent, one hundred percent. I will buy one of these as soon as I'm insurable. I mean, just look at how cool this thing is. Sickest helicopter on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, look at that little, somebody gave it a little kiss. That is so cool. If, they, if you're watching this video and this is your, uh, your helicopter, hit me in the comments. I would love to go for a ride because this thing is insane. It's complete opposite of how I would paint mine, but wow, incredible. Absolutely love this thing. All right. Back to my hangar. All right, welcome to Casa de Gear. The wonderful hangar. I gave you guys a tour already, so we won't get into any of that. But we are here for one thing and one thing only. Check out the seats for my citation. All done. This hanger smells so good because all this brand new leather just sitting here. So on Monday, we should be able to start getting these guys back in. Super pumped, look at these things. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Jaime did such a great job, especially with the brand new sheepskin up here for the cockpit seats. The barrel seats looking great. So, super pumped on that. Um, that's it. Like, dawn done. I'm so excited. I, I don't even, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm super pumped. I'm trying to find that ELT battery that's in here somewhere, but yeah. Um, let's talk about the arrow. Talk about the arrow for a second. So the arrow is going to be done and ready for sale this week. Um, just finishing up a few little touches before I'm happy to send this thing on its way If you guys want to buy the arrow if you're interested in buying the arrow, I'm gonna sell it uh, Send an email to the email on the screen right here got 10 hours since major overhaul the engine is brand new with a warranty um, so freshly overhauled engine brand new paint brand new interior there's the interior looking all nice and new um, oop, didn't do any upgrades to the panel really um, but everything works well it does have a wing leveler autopilot in it which is whatever. Um, you see there's the panel. So it's got a Garmin uh, G, uh, GPS 300 XL in it and a couple of King stuff, Stratus uh, transponder, so ADSB out is all good. Uh, nice new carpet, new interior. Graphics, I will be putting those on hopefully on Tuesday. I'll get the graphics on this thing. And after that, she's ready to go. You guys obviously saw the full um, the full video where I did the wheel and lighting upgrade. So all brand new LED lights on it. 
um, being sold with a fresh annual. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I am willing to finance it to one of you. No banks, no drama. Um, I'm going to be asking 129 for this thing. Spent a lot of money making it exactly super nice. Um, so at 129, I will give you a uh, Garmin 430 to go with the airplane. Let's go show you guys that. It's back here. I'll give you a Garmin 430. Now you got to have a sizable down payment. I'm talking 40, 50 grand down, and we'll do like thousand dollar a month payments until it's paid off. Simple interest, nothing crazy. There you go. There's a Garmin right here. I will give you that Garmin to go with the airplane, as well as a bunch of extra goodies. On top of that, if you are local and you buy this airplane from me, I will give you labor only, labor only, your next four annual inspections I will do for you at no cost. You gotta pay consumables, obviously if something breaks or is broken, needs to be replaced, you have to pay for your own parts, oil, 5606, spark plugs, air filters, all that kind of good stuff. But the labor and the annual inspection sign off every year will be on me. Now, if an AD comes out like the wings bar thing where there's added inspection, we'll negotiate something on that. But if you buy this plane, nobody else will ever do that for you besides me I'm trying to help you guys as always. Fat down payment, no drama with the banks, no anything, just huge down payment, thousand bucks a month until it's paid off. 129,000 gets you free Garmin 430, free annuals for four years. And all you gotta do is basically put gas oil in it and your butt. So, all right, that's enough of this. I'm super pumped. My jet is just about done. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I know it's a quick little update, short video for you guys, but try to get that algorithm back pumping again here on YouTube because I don't know why, but the algorithm hates me now for some reason. You see this so well, but hey, we're back. Uh, new video next Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, and that's it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and um, tell me I'm an idiot for taking 16 months to redo a citation. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace!